Well, hello. I finally received a package that I've been waiting for for quite some time. I finally ordered a set of Schmincke Hordam watercolors. They were the last set in the colorway that I've been just eyeing for the past few months. So I wanted to go ahead and share this experience of opening up the package with you. I hope you are as excited as I am. Now you can order these sets in half pans or in tubes, but I wanted to go ahead and order the set that came in tubes. I wanted plenty of paint to play around with, and it comes in this lovely wooden box here. So let's go ahead and open it. This is the Super Granulated Tundra set. There are quite a few different colorways. Um, I think each one sort of represents some sort of ecosystem um, or climate zone. And so I'm very interested in trying a bunch of different um, sets, maybe at different times of the year. But this one felt like the perfect set for the beginning of 2024. Let me go and see if I can get a pencil and open this plastic up. Yeah, here we go. All right, I can't wait to see these tubes. Now I've been pondering, you know, what I want to do with these watercolors. How do I want to start using them? And of course, I want to swatch them, but oftentimes when I'm thinking about swatching, I, I want to make it into some sort of artwork. Okay, here are the different colors. Orange, pink, violet, blue, and green. The pink is very interesting. It is more to me like a purple, but we'll see how it goes. All right, let's see. I love this. And there's a nice little clasp here. All right, here we go. Nice. Oh, I can't wait to open them and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and get my other painting supplies set up and I'll see you in just a minute to do some swatching. Okay, got my other supplies. I love this cotton watercolor paper. Um, I've already marked very lightly, you could probably not even see it, um, a circular design here. It's more like um, one of those seed of life mandala type designs. You'll see it come along as we paint. I've got orange to start with. Let's put a little bit out on my palette paper here. This feels quite like an orangish brown to me. Um, so it's interesting to see, you know, the tundra take on these different colors. Let's see how it paints up. In some places I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of extra paint. I want these little petal or seed shapes to have some sort of dimension. So I'm just laying down just a little bit of extra paint right on the side here. And then I think on the other side, after I dry my paintbrush off, I'm going to swipe a little shine, pick up some of this um, 
watercolor paint to get a nice shine in there. I like to see, you know, with each set that I try out, what kind of techniques can I use as I'm painting to create dimension. All right, here's the tundra pink. Let's set that out. I want the orange to dry just for a second before I swipe that shine off. All right, let's go ahead and work on that shine. Yeah, it's picking up quite nicely. All right, let's go ahead and wet down this tundra pink, which to me feels like a nice, lovely, like plum purple color. Um, so it's interesting going to be thinking about, you know, how does pink work its way into this color? Let's do the same process as we did with orange. That pink does look quite lovely. Now we have Tundra Violet. So I can see sort of as the pink dries and there's that lovely granulation there, it does, I mean, I, I guess it can be quite pink if it's not terribly saturated. Let's see how this violet turns out. It looks quite dark. So I'm interested to see like, does this feel more just like a, a dark gray to me or as it dries with all that granulation, you know, do other colors start? To come out. I just love this exploration of these new paints. Let's try it out. So I'm having to dry my brush off quite frequently. It's picking up quite a bit of paint and water as I'm making these swipes for the shine. Um, but if you can get the brush really nice and dry, it'll pick up quite a bit of paint and that's looking pretty good. All right, next we have Tundra Blue, and this looks like quite a bright and fun blue, so I can't wait to see. Let's see what it looks like as we add some water here. Yeah, that's looking like a nice, fun, lively blue. Thank you. 
And last but not least, the tundra green. Let's give this one a go. I think I'll put it right up top here. This one so far feels more opaque than the others, so it'll be interesting to see how it lays down. I might have to add more water to this one than the others as I go forward. We'll see what happens. So that's my basic swatch of the the five colors here but when I swatch I also like to do some blends or at least putting them you know side by side and seeing how they mingle or not um, so I think for these sort of seed shapes I'm going to experiment with adding one color on one half of the seed and another color on the other and trying to do some deliberate blending towards the middle of the seed to see how the two colors come together. So I'm going to start off with the tundra orange. It's a little less saturated than when I initially painted. And then on the other side, I'm going to add uh, the tundra pink. And we'll see how that turns out when these two mix together. I quite like how that turned out. I can't wait to experiment with putting the others together. So I'm going to go ahead and for the rest of the video just experiment with adding two colors together and then towards the end just sort of playing around and seeing you know what sort of combinations I really enjoy and like. I am going to speed up the video during that process just for the sake of time and then I'll see you at the very end with a final product. See you there.
So that's the first bit of my Schmincke Hordam Tundra um, swatching adventure. I'm going to continue on adding colors and combinations to the rest of this artwork. And I'll take some time to ink in all the white spaces to make it look more like a stained glass piece. And here is how the final piece turned out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. If you go ahead and try out this paint set or if you already love it, I'd love to hear about your adventures with this set in the comments. Thank you so much and I will see you again on another day. Bye-bye.